best free AI art generator better than mid journey. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be running down some of the best AI art generators that are way better than mid journey. Now mid journey is super popular and I do understand why it's popular. However, with the fact that it is super popular, sometimes it can seem a bit repetitive, redundant, and it is overused. So if you're looking for something new and fresh where you're not going to have to wait for so long as you would on mid journey, make sure to watch this video till the end for all of my recommendations. So let's get into it. Now, starting off, we have this AI tool called Playground AI. So Playground AI not only allows you to generate or create images, but you can actually edit them as well. So it's an editor plus a image generator. So it's, you know, mixed and you can really edit images as you go and you can really elevate the style that you have. You can elevate the images that you are generating with AI. Instead of them just being a very fantasy-esque image, you can make them your own. To get started, all you have to do is head on over to Playground AI and you can sign in to create your first image. Just sign in with your Google account over here click on continue and just like that we are going to create our account on this art generation platform and just like that it's going to show you guys how you can get started so first off you are going to select how large you want your image to be and then after that so i'm just going to move down a little now from here, you can press tab and describe the image, or you can just select the text box and describe the image you want to create. Now, one thing I always recommend is go into ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to make a detailed version of your prompt. So generate a detailed version of my prompt to create a image of a fluffy white cat sitting in a lawn um, surrounded by flowers and trees mystical and fantasy like this now what chat gpt will do is that it will provide you with a detailed version of your prompt now you can always ask it to summarize the prompt um so i usually let it generate the entire thing and then i go on ahead and summarize this into 10 lines or less and then it's going to just really summarize the entire prompt that it created like this and then you can edit the details that's totally up to you but i'm just going to enter my prompt and then click on generate over here and just like that it is going to generate our image now it's going to take a couple of seconds for the generation to be completed so I'm just going to wait for that. And just like that, our image has been generated. I really love this image and I can go ahead and resize it as well. You can increase the size, you can decrease the size. And if I want to maybe include something else, so on the top, maybe at this particular section, add roses here like this. And I want to outpaint now in this particular section it's going to start adding roses within my existing image it's going to generate within that image now this feature is great when you are looking to build larger images if you're looking to build backgrounds buildings you know large landscapes all of that can be added and you guys can see it has now expanded upon our original image to just show it entirely to you guys you guys can see now it's expanding and you can just so on and so forth keep on generating and build huge amazing illustrations now moving on to our next tool we have ai with meta now a lot of people might have heard of this it is a nice little tool to use it's not available everywhere yet but it's a great way to get started for free then we have lexica art so lexica art is also another amazing tool you can just put in your particular prompt so we're going to continue with google over here to get started and for most of these image generation platforms, you do have to sign up before you can start generating images. So I'm just going to continue on over here, click on over here. And then one thing that you can also do is put in a negative prompt. Now, a negative prompt is when you don't want to include something. So don't include maybe 
birds like this so if i don't want birds i can put that in a negative prompt and that won't be included and on the top right you can choose the size you want like this so i'll just go for a very square size like this and then i want this to be fast and then you can get started now currently you guys can see you have to subscribe to one of their paid plans to get started however you can find a lot of discounts on their paid plans as well and moving on to our next platform we have synthesis so synthesis is a chrome extension that allows you to create versions of any image that you find this basically uses machine or ai learning to the next platform where you're going to take pre-existing images that you might already find interesting and then you can go on ahead and start you know customizing those further so i'm going to click on maybe done over here on this particular image and you can go into synthesia and we are just going to continue on over here now we are just going to go for their tutorial because you know without going through the tutorial you can't use the application so we're just going to open up unsplash take any image and then we can go on ahead, download that, and, you know, start using the Synthesia editor to get started. Now, next up, we have Blue Willow. So, Blue Willow is a tool created by LimeWire specifically, and it is available on Discord as well. And you can just go on ahead, sign up to get started. We're going to sign up with Google to get started. Now, they also have different models of their particular text to image generator. So you can use a particular model for a particular art style as well. So we're just going to go on ahead and we're going to stay on their free plan. I'm going to be using the Blue Below version 4. And I am going to add, you know, I've added the same prompt and it looks really good. I really like this image generation as well. So we have this version. We also have a previous version of this image as well. Now we can compare both of these, you know, and choose the one you like better. Now you can really customize these. Obviously, the more detail you provide, the better your generations will be. Now, moving on to our next platform, we have Pollination. So, Pollination is a tool where you can use it with ChatGPT. Plus, you can also just create directly on their website. So, you can put in your prompt. And just like that, it has generated my image. Now, the thing about Pollinations is that it can really create realistic, hyper-realistic images really well. So, I like to specifically use it in that use case. And you can ask it to build more fantasy-esque image, but with their machine learning AI, it's really good at realistic images, and that's what I would recommend it for. Now, my last two recommendations include a Night Cafe, so I'll show you guys how you can go on Night Cafe. And on Night Cafe, you actually have different styles. You can actually choose a style so you can choose what kind of style you want i like to go with night cafe that's my personal style that i like to use over here it's the best one but they have multiple different models and styles available you guys can see over here now one thing to remember is that even in their prompts they do tell you that the longer prompts are going to have a lesser effect at the end of the text so if you write a really long paragraph the lower half of the paragraph is not going to be as impactfully displayed in the image generation but i still really do like this illustration as well and at last we have hot pot ai which can also generate different styles of images and has multiple different prompts you can add and a credit system so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to generate amazing images with ai as well if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe